a small Hobby Lobby haul. So Hobby Lobby was having a sale on all of the recollections. Stickers were 50% off, and that included the Stickabilities, Paper Studio, and the 3D stickers, and then um, they were having a sale on like all of the scrapbook paper, 50% off. I could have went crazy, but I'm on a budget. <laughs> so I only bought what I really, really wanted and could use right now because I'm like budgeting myself because I have a tendency to go a little crazy when it comes to stickers and crafts and stuff. So it's a small one, but it's a good one. So we'll start with the stickers because I think they're adorable. So I got these, which are really, really cute. And I don't know if they're, they're not called specifically something, but they're like the little borders like you could put down at the bottom of pages or pocket letters or whatever it is that you're going to do. And I thought these were adorable. So they're like sunflowers and they have like little bumblebees spread out in between them. I thought that was adorable. And then I found this one, which is totally springy. I don't know what it is. Right now, I'm like loving bumblebees. I don't like bees in real life, but they're really cute on stickers. So I got these. See the little bumbles? Aren't they cute? We have a little bumble that comes here every single spring, and he's here for about two months. And he is like a little escorter. We, we make fun of him, and we call him Bumble, Mr. Bumble. And... He like literally escorts you from your car, clear down the walk, on the porch, and into the door. He, he, and he gets like literally this close. Like I could touch him just like that. But he's that close. He never gets any closer than that, but he escorts us all the way from our car to the door because he thinks our porch is like his domain. We call him Mr. Bumble. So I call all bees bumbles. <laughs> It's just something I do. I picked up these as I thought these were really pretty and I love stuff like this. They are such pretty like accents or like embellishments on your pocket letters and your flip books and stuff. I think these are so so pretty and they have a hint of like um, glittered silver in them. I thought those were really pretty. And then of course I had to get myself some bumble stickers because I just think they're adorable. So I have like a whole theme that I'm going to do with like these things and bumblebees. So that's why I said I was only getting stuff that I could use right away. I thought these were adorable. And then I think the last little sticker thing type things that I got is I needed all new stuff for my happy planner and these ones are like all different from the other two that I had because I'm like running out of all of these. So these ones just have like um, great things for like reminders and important stickers and flags and like phone calls and appointments and all that stuff that you use in your happy planner that makes your planner a planner. Yeah, I needed new ones so I just picked up a little book of those. Then I found these in the clearance section. So they were $8 and I got them for 4 so they were basically 50% off. And they are the Paper Studio, and they are like um, uh, chain borders. So I hope you guys can see this in the camera. So this one is like a flowered one. Ooh, hope you guys can see it. Let me see. Maybe it's better to hold it that way. Yeah. See it right there. See, and then you you push your you put your paper down in this part right here, and then you push down, and then it makes that border. The whole way along your paper so it'll make your paper look like it has like a scalloped edge with this flower like on top of it so I picked this one up and then they had another one with hearts see the hearts I hope you guys are seeing that without that bad glare so I thought those were a great price and like I said they were in the clearance for four dollars and they're originally eight so it's like getting them at 50% off so I really liked those then I got some new paper. So the only thing about Hobby Lobby is their paper cardstocks, books, and things, they don't have like these awesome names that have like a collection and they have the matching washi and stickers and all that stuff. That's the only thing I don't like about Hobby Lobby, but their prices and their selection, at least for mine, is a lot better than Michael's. Because we went to Michael's first and I couldn't find anything because they were having a sales also. My Michael's barely carries Paper Studio stickers and they don't carry really big collections. So Hobby Lobby was better this time around. But this is the um, 
book. See, it's just called cardstock. <laughs> and it, I loved it because it was like watercolor and they're really, really pretty inside. It really reminded me of spring, so I really loved this one. And then I got one other. And this one definitely reminds me of spring and summer, and it is the Floral Shop. So this one's all floral, and it's very pretty. So I picked those two up, and these also were 50% off. I love when they have 50% off. And then I couldn't leave without some washi. This is new to me. Maybe this is, people have known about this for a while, but I've never seen these. Of course you can get the tubes from Michaels, from Recollection, that have the name. Like this is the Bohemian Collection. I've never seen these tubes in um, the paper studio, so to speak. Like I'm saying, this is new to me. It may not it may not be new to you guys, <laughs> but it's new to me. So they had them there. And all of their washi from the paper studio as well was 50% off. So I could get um, two washies in a pack that were regularly $4.99 and then I would get 50% off of that. So it'd be like two bucks or so something like that. Or I could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine washi for $12.99 for 50% off so I get it for $6.99. I just thought that was a much better deal. So I picked these up which I think are going to look fantastic with this floral pack. So I picked two tubes up kind of correlating with the paper that I bought and thought I'll just make my own collections. So I thought this washi looks very good with this floral pack. So like I said they were $12.99 with 50% off and I really loved them. So these ones you get two skinny washi at the top and then some regular size washi and then the bottom one is one of those larger washi. There's some really pretty floral ones and I love this one that looks like um, um, like a book word paper. I love that and I love the one that looks like brick wall too. I think that's very unique and I think you could do a lot with that. Like you could lay that down like for instance like on a pocket letter like you could do a whole page of it and then like do flowers up it and it would look like a wall with flowers up it. I don't know, I have some ideas with it. Not to like blab, but I really thought that was pretty. So I picked this one up, which I thought went really well with this um, paper book. And again, you get, oh well, this one kind of has three smaller washies and I love the one that says hello. You guys see that? I love the hearts. I love this design. This one looks like peacock feathers. And then again, you get a bigger one at the bottom, which I love. I love that it has like little black polka dots and I love the hearts. I just thought these were really, really cute and they're by the Paper Studio, which I've never seen Paper Studio have tubes of washi. So I was like really excited over that. So I told you guys, it was a really small Hobby Lobby haul. I'm really trying to budget myself. That's why there hasn't been as many hauls on my video of late. Because guys, if I could really show you my stickers and all of the stuff that I have, I'm like overwhelmed <laughs> with the amount of stickers and supplies and things that I have. Now don't get me wrong, I use them all. And then when I do new swaps with like Lovies and um, other projects, I'm finding that it works best for me just to go out and buy things for that specific project. Like I did not have any Bumble stickers and like cute little Bumble things. So I bought Bumble stuff for a project that I'm going to work on today. So I think that's how I'm going to do things for a little while because I really, really need to invest in honestly a better way to store my stickers. Now I know that I did a video quite some time ago. Um, where I got like that three drawer thing and those awesome zipper pouches from the DT. They work great, but I'll, I can't find them zipper pouches and my sticker collection is like exploding. So instead of them being nice and neat in these pouches all named, they're like stuck in baskets and stuff. So I really need to invest again in another way to organize all of my stickers. And when I get all that together, of course I'll share that video with you. But 
<laughs> I swear I could open a sticker store. But I love my stickers. But anyways, I'm rambling. Thanks guys for joining me today for this small little Hobby Lobby haul and a little chit chat about my stickers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Become part of the Lovey family. We would love to have you. We're really expanding at this moment. So it's not like we're a family. We're almost like an army. So like, hashtag Lovey Army. Lovey's rule. I will talk to you guys soon. You have a great and blessed day. Bye. Hey, no, no, no.